Agora TV. The world is thinking. For me, most notably in the expression of emotions in animals and men, where no one since Darwin has analyzed the phenomena in as much depth as he did. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe I'll give my, my favorite example, because this is, I think, after his prediction that the transitional human fossils would be found in Africa. This is my favorite bit of Darwiniana. And this is, he, um, in the expression of the emotions, he uh, introduced a principle of um, uh, what he called antithesis. That is, that when an animal uh, displays a particular intention with a particular conformation of muscles and, and joint postures. When it is in the opposite emotional state, it will display the opposite configuration or the opposite posture. And so he, note, he used this to explain uh, why dogs wag their tails, that when a dog is ready to attack, it will uh, lean forward, muscles rigid, tail pointed straight behind uh, in preparation to leap. What does a dog do when it's in a friendly frame of mind? It crouches down, has its head up, and its tail is limply wagging. Now, you ask, what's the uh, equivalent in the human case? Well, when a human assumes an uh, aggressive or angry posture, you have the shoulders squared, the brow lowered, the uh, head facing forward, the arms pronated, and the fists clenched. Now, what happens when you have the joint for joint, muscle for muscle, opposite of that. Well, you've got the head to the side, the brows raised, the shoulders uh, hunched, the arms supinated, and the hands open. <laughs> the evolution of the shrug. Now, no one since then has, uh, has done better at explaining why we shrug. And again, it makes the uh, prediction that the shrug should not just be a convention of uh, our particular but universal culture, thing. but at least but found in other uh, cultures. And he, uh, he was amazingly eclectic in terms of his empirical methods, but any time a missionary or an explorer or a sailor was going to go overseas, he gave them a little questionnaire to fill out. Whenever you meet a, as he put it, a, a wild Malay or a Negro or a Hindu <coughs> or an Eskimo, could you write down uh, all of these features of what they do when they're happy, what they do when they're uh, angry and so on, and got back uh, years later a set of diaries which allowed him to document the universality of many facial and bodily postures. Uh, an empirical body of, of research that basically lay uh, ignored for another century until Paul Ekman revived the study of universals of expression. But anyway, that's just my favorite example of the continuing relevance of, of uh, Darwin as a scientist.